Now let's uh, take into consideration this case, flooding. Uh, it's, I will say, one of the most intuitive uh, cases. What will happen if you have excess liquid flow rate? And this is a specific case because you actually have a good gas flow that allows or avoids whipping. So as you can see, no liquid is falling here. So what's happening is that maybe it's accumulating partially until it eventually floods this stage and the following stage and then keeps going and going up to the top uh, column, uh, sorry, tray in the column. Now, why does it happen and why should we avoid this? Well, this happens essentially because of the excess liquid rates and the excessive uh, high drop in pressure. So because of the pressure in the gas, the, uh, what happens is that the liquid is going to accumulate now this is a very specific case, if you were to uh, calculate the velocity at which this happens, these are the so-called uh, velocities for flooding, we're going to analyze those, especially because most of the columns are analyzed in flooding conditions, so typically if you get a velocity flooding at 100%, we operate it at maybe 70%, 80% and so on. So this is a very important aspect to consider the point at which this effect occurs the velocities of which a column is operated it's called flooding velocity so this is what i was telling you guys now what else do we have here the operation velocity is typically known as the flooding velocity or even higher so of course there is a velocity in which you're going to flood it if you increase it you are above the flooding velocity now what is the main effect besides you are actually not having the correct mass transfer uh, operation between liquid and gas? Well, you will have a drop in tray efficiency. So remember that typical tray efficiency is 50. Maybe you will drop it up to 5%, 10% and so on. The liquid may force out of the exit pipe at the tower top because this is not at steady state. What happens is that it keeps fluting and fluting up to maybe going backwards of the flow rate right here so you gotta have a lot of uh, carefulness be careful because if you keep going operating this way and you can have these let's say reverse flow rate now there is also a certain point in which maybe you are in steady state so all the column is fluted and it's kind of hard to see that you're actually flooding the columns so you can you can be operating this right here at flooding conditions and because there is not excess going back or going through here you will not see this flooding because of course this is covered on steel uh, recall that because of the efficiency of the trace fall the overall tray efficiency it's also lower because it's defined as the ratio of a number of real trays required to the number of ideal trays and channeling happens in packed towers. The wetted wall tower experiment are used to determine the volumetric coefficient of two interacting phases. Okay, right now we are not going to get that much into channeling, but what I want you to tell you is that flooding is not recommended. We see this because one, it may happen and you need to know why it's happening. And two, our designs are based on the flooding velocities.